Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into this video. So if you're interested in seeing all the goodies that I've got over the month of, what are we in? April? April. In the month of April. Definitely keep watching this video. Okay guys, for starters, I am so excited. I went to Dollar Tree and I found my printer. I was telling you guys in my vanity tour that I had one extra roll of this print. And this is the print that you see back here on the desk. But... I don't know if you can see right here where that indentation is. Chloe just ripped off a piece of my freaking print off my desk. And I did tell you guys, eventually I want to get a, a, an acrylic top to put on top of the desk. I just haven't gotten around to do that yet. So in the meantime, I have my $1 print here. And it's just like a, not Damascus, it has some flowers on it and stuff. They call it the Toilet Black print. So... One dollar, I picked up three of them, and I think I may have one already in the stash. So I definitely wanted to show you guys that print. Definitely check out Dollar Tree if you're looking for like little DIYs. You can use this as shelf liners. You could, I think that's exactly what it is, actually. It says quick cover. So it's a shelf and drawer liner. It's washable, durable, easy to apply and remove. So for a dollar, can't beat it. It's 18 inches by 1.5 yards worth of liners so I picked up three of them and I'm so excited now really quickly my subscription services you may have already seen the video that I put up if you haven't I'll have it linked up here so you guys can check that out after you finish watching this video but I did do a video comparing my two $10 subscription services so this one was from Ipsy this month and this was the Sephora plate which was my first time getting a Sephora plate box now what I will say is you know we love shopping at Sephora, so I really do like the Sephora play boxes. I be trying not to buy so much at Sephora because Sephora is so freaking expensive. Like with Ulta, two hundred dollars, I'll have so much stuff. Two hundred dollars at Sephora, I have like six things. Like it's ridiculous. So this is a good way to get some products from Sephora. Ten dollars a month, can't beat it. If you haven't seen that video already, definitely check that out after you finish watching this video. Yeah. The other subscription service that I'm sub subscribed to is the Morphe Me, where you receive $30 worth of brushes monthly and you spend $20. And I've been thinking about canceling the Morphe Me because as you can see, I have two, like it's like ridiculous when it comes to brushes in this house. Like I have so many brushes. So I've been thinking about canceling them. And then I had this sitting in the corner for a good minute. And then when I finally opened it up, I seen these beautiful rose gold blushes brushes so I was really excited to see these this one of course will be a nice well I don't know if it's gonna how nice it's gonna be but this would be good for contouring this is gonna be nice I would actually use this either underneath my eyes or I would actually use it to apply blush <laughs> I would use this as a blush brush <laughs> and this one looks like a nice little highlighter brush or even like something to blow out that crease you can use it for underneath your eyes so of course when it comes to makeup brushes you can use them any way you want so if you're interested in the Morphe Me, of course, I'll have links down below this video in the description box so you can check that out as well. But I was excited to get those rose gold brushes for the month of April. I'm just getting the quick stuff out real quick and then we're going to get into the goodies. Of course, I shopped the VIB sale. Um, from Amazon, I had picked up these tempered glass screen protectors for... Um, for our iPhones, me and Babe both have iPhones, so I picked up these screen protectors. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a future video because I don't have my phone handy right now. But I'm going to show you what these tempered glass things look like. And I'm thinking about upgrading my phone, but you know how iPhone does. Every time you turn around, you upgrade your phone, then they come out with a new version. It's just my phone has been acting up lately. I always have to keep it on the charger. It loses charge so fast. Maybe because I'm always on it, but you know. Whatever. So I picked up a couple of these from Amazon. Also from Amazon, I went ahead and picked up another memory card. This is a 64 gig uh, memory card. It's from the company SanDisk. And um, again, it's 64 gig. And whenever you buy memory cards, you want to get a UHS, meaning ultra high speed, because... That's as I'm recording this video now, it also has to save that information onto the memory of the memory card. So you want it to do it at a good speed so that your camera doesn't cut off. So make sure you get an ultra high speed memory card when you're looking to record these kind of videos. Just a little tip. And lastly, from Amazon, I also pick up this case. 
I'm going to be doing a video, an updated um, what's on my phone, what's on my iPhone video. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. We'll go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so I know that's something you want to see. But I'm thinking that's going to be a Tech Tuesday video coming very, very soon. So definitely, if you're not already, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned and be looking out for the what's on my iPhone. And it may be with a new iPhone at that point. So we'll see. Let's see. I also ended up going to Mac. Um, I think it was Easter weekend. I ended up going to Mac. I took some items back to back to Mac. You guys know the Back to Mac program. If you give them six empty Mac containers, you can get a free lip glass, lipstick, or eyeshadow. And for me, I ended up picking up a lip glass. Oh, my other order from Stilo is in here too. I forgot about that, but we're gonna get to that in a second. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen what I picked up from Steve. But I'm going to get to that in two seconds. Let's just go ahead and get through this Mac bag. And I only picked up two things from Mac. I only, um, I did the back to Mac. And I got the lip glass in the shade Rambunctious. Mm -hmm. And this, this is going to be beautiful come spring. Well, we are in spring. But come summer, it's a beautiful orange lip gloss. And I have been, look on my lips, I've been so into lip glosses lately. Did I? Oh yeah, I shared this with you. I have on one of those buxom lip glosses that I did in one of my recent hauls. But look at that orange color there. Can you see that? Yeah. That is going to be so pretty. It's nice and pigmented, but still gives you that glossy effect. So I'm really excited about this. And I think this is one of their new releases. So, because they had it out on display. It wasn't like in the regular spinning matte tower that they usually have. So I think they just recently rele released a whole bunch of lip glosses. And I may be getting some more of these because, like I said, I've been really feeling lip glasses. And then this one here is a restock. I picked up the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter and I picked up the shade Peach Luster. Now, I used to use this maybe like a year or two ago and it was actually part of my Back to MAC stuff that I was returning. And I forgot how much I love this and I want to see and compare it to some of the color correctors that I have been using. I used to use it as a color corrector even though it is named as a highlighter. So if you guys are interested in how I color correct with this peach luster shade, let me know down in the comments below. And let's get into this stuff from Stila. I am a pro member at Stila, so I was really, really happy to get my hands on these. These are the Magnificent, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So. I picked up four shades. In the picture on Instagram, you actually saw me post six, but that's because I had sent two to my, my homegirl here. And the shades that I got is Violet Vixen, and you guys know purple is my thing. So I just had to open this up and swatch it, and that's what that purple shade looks like. Like, how pretty is that? And I'll do a quick swatch of all of them. So I did pick up Violet Vixen. Also picked up Rose Gold Retro. That's what Rose Gold Retro looks like. Really, really pretty. That's what Kitten Karma looks like there, really, of course. And I just think this is just so perfect because as far as glitter, I'm not one for fallout. And I do hear that these do have fallout, but I think it won't be as bad as a loose glitter. This last one is called Ballet Baby, and it's more of a pinky shade. So this is what all four of the Magnificent magnificent metal liquid eyeshadows look like this is violet vixen rose gold retro kitten karma and ballet baby so that's what those four look like swatched of course i cannot wait as soon as i got it i had to put one onto my eyelid just to see what it's looking like because my goodness like these are just so pretty and i'm not so fond of that last color i think that that was ballet baby now, when I placed that Stila order, they had awesome customer service. As I said, I am a pro member with them, but I haven't ordered from them since before I moved. So when I went to hurry up and place my order, I ended up putting my old address. Well, they had it registered in their system with my old address. But when I reached out to them, I contacted them, let them know that I needed an update in my address. They did that, handle it, no problem. Not only that, like I have the UPS app that lets you know when packages are coming. Because as a blogger, you see I be getting like PR packages and stuff. I don't know sometimes when things are coming. So I like to tr keep track of that kind of stuff. So I had it in my in the UPS app that a Stila package was coming on, I think it was a Thursday. Come to find out, I got my package a day earlier. 
and the package that was in my UPS app it still did come and it was an extra set of the freebies so I guess they thought that they had left them out of my order I don't know what but it was just the strangest thing to me so I ended up with two of these actually and this is the Stila Huger Than Huge Extreme Lash Duo so it comes with their Lash Donna Extreme Lash Primer and the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara and that's what that packaging looks like there you probably ain't gonna see it I don't know if it's going to focus my camera is not about that autofocus life my camera has been like on its last leg lately and I'm praying that it lasts because I don't really want to buy another camera but this is what the packaging is looking like so I'm really excited to test those out I really like lash primers so I'm hoping that these work out good for me